the digital stuff that we've had for the last, well, quite a while, has all been, like, it's meant to confuse you. You know, there's a sort yeah. of layer of not understanding what's well, happening. There's a, the reason It's really that. interesting to watch that. What you're seeing there is that that isn't about engineering, that's about commerce, and that's about a certain group of people making a ton of profit. So engineering as such, if, in fact, every time you work for a company, you're always hit with this, this thing where you go in and you've got this great idea and you want to do it a certain way, but they don't want to put the money into that, they don't want to put the money into that, they don't really want to put the money here because this is what they right. want. And, this is, and from the very beginning of any time I ever had to deal with companies, it was straight away, and every programmer, I, I think most programmers who've, who've got a pretty long career and care about engineering and care about how things are done will tell you, yeah, obviously, we break the programs basically to fit the company's agenda. Most of what you see in the world today, most of this disruption is about, you know, is serving a, a handful of people. The real technology we haven't seen yet, it's very hard. When we try, we're trying to do some projects now and just to raise funding for something where you say, no, there's no way you can make money from this because we have... The second you break the model, if we make this electrical model and then we wire in the bit where you somebody gets the profit, <laughs> then at that point we have to start changing lots of things, yes. lots of subtle things, and that changes everything. Small changes in large networks change everything. It's got a ripple of, you know that butterfly effect thing? Well, it's yeah. just huge in engineering. So if you change something in the, in the idea of the network model, the, the, the graph, the way everything interacts with it, you put that one thing in, it's like a a disease that spreads and then suddenly this network let's not call it a disease it just changes its alignment to something else something that maybe isn't as isn't at all in line with the human beings or the the consumers are more in line with whoever's paying for it to be done it must be quite a nice thing though for programmers that the people who are going to work on decentralization to kind of finally get a a shot at making a system which is really designed as as just a tool like a sort of it's not designed to secretly do this or secretly do that. It's designed literally to serve in, in as efficient a way possible. Yeah. Uh, is, is there a chance though that this can end up where sort of all of the, the, the techies and the really good programmers form a sort of technocratic elite and everyone else is, you know, everything's running off algorithms and everything's running off, uh, you know, these, these networks and we're all like, oh my God, if they well, stop doing this, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, you're living in that now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So We're in that. we are the technocratically, except it's not really engineers you're hearing from. It's, That's true. Again, it's from the corporations.